Hey Credit Warriors, welcome to the show. Now we have seen a lot of new regulations and restrictions around American Express bonuses over the past few weeks, including on the Delta Airlines cards, Amex limiting you, getting a bonus on the lower tier cards if you've already had one on one of the higher tier cards. Then a week or so later, we saw a similar thing added to the cashback cards. Now, in the video where I talked about the cashback cards, I predicted that maybe we would see this coming to Amex's flagship products of gold, platinum, and green. In the future, will this be added to the terms and conditions of the American Express flagship products like the green, gold, and platinum. I think it could be. And guess what? Yep, it's been added to the flagship products of gold, platinum, and green as well. Well, actually, the specific language has only been added to the terms and conditions of the gold card, but it affects those applying for the whole series of cards because it dictates the order in which you can apply. So let's take a look at the terms and conditions. On the platinum, we just have the thing about not being eligible to receive bonuses if you've already had a bonus on another version of the Platinum, like the Charles Schwab Platinum, um, or if you've had this card previously. So no change there. Then on the Gold, they have added terms saying that you will not be eligible for a bonus on the Gold card if you have received a bonus on any version of the Platinum card. And then on Green, it's actually unchanged. So you just have the lifetime language. You can't get the bonus on the Green if you've had a bonus on Green before. So what does this mean? Well, it means that the Gold and the Platinum are now effectively linked and you have to apply for them in ascending order. And if you don't, if you apply for the Platinum first, you will not get a bonus on the Amex Gold card if you apply for it later. In reality though, I think that most people will apply for them in that order anyway, since the gold is less of a commitment because of a lower annual fee. So it makes more sense to get it first. But if this becomes the norm, what's next? I guess this is just them tightening up after a period of giving away huge bonuses uh, during the tail end of the pandemic. And we already saw a few days ago them raising the spend requirement on the gold card as well from $4,000 up to $6,000. So it seems the gold card is a specific target. Maybe the Amex gold card is just too good, all right? I personally really love it. I love how it earns four points per dollar on restaurants worldwide and US supermarkets. I earned like 60,000 points that way last year, all right? That's enough for a business class ticket to Europe. So there seem to be a lot of changes going on. Look out for more. I'm sure there will be more changes. But you know what hasn't changed? The fact that you can still get up to 12 free stocks from our sponsor, Webull. It is a brokerage app where you can buy and trade stocks, cryptos, and even open an IRA. And when you deposit any amount of money in a new account, you can get six free stocks minimum at a minimum value of $34 altogether, but you could luck out and get up to 12 free stocks and they could be at much higher values, giving you a maximum possible value of over $30,000. Luck of the draw, what you get, link is below. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Do subscribe for the latest credit card and personal finance news on the channel. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.